Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a review and swatches on the five Inglot lipsticks that I own. I have already reviewed their liquid lipsticks, so I will link that video down below. So I have some matte lipsticks and some that are more on the creamy side from their line, and I do have quite a variety of colors. I like the packaging, it's nice and chic and durable, it's like a black metal, so I really like that. The only thing I wish there was a color indicator, so all of these look the exact same and they don't have a colored sticker or a colored band or like colored top, so it makes it a bit hard to find in your drawer which color you're looking for. Um, so I kind of wish there was some way of knowing what color, especially because there aren't names on them. Like cherry, you would know it's like a red lipstick, um, so it can be a little hard that way. But other than that, I really love the packaging, it's nice and sturdy, and the lipsticks are pretty great. So let's get right into the swatches. Okay, this first one is called 436. So this is one that I received from Inglot. Not a shade I would pick, so it's a very matte kind of stone gray lip. And I know grays um, and different nudes are kind of trendy right now. This one I feel is too gray for my liking and the matte finish gives it less life. Um, so also the formula on this one I feel like it's not completely opaque, it can go a bit patchy. Um, so you'll want to apply two or three coats to get that opaque. So an interesting color to have, something I'll try out more for like Halloween or something. This one is 422 and I think this is one of my favorites. I purchased this one on my own. It's such a beautiful purple lip. It is more of a matte finish. It reminds me a bit of the Sephora Cream Lip Stain number 12, which is one of my favorite colors. This one is a little cooler and a little darker than that one. Okay, this one is 426. This is such a beautiful shade. I believe I purchased this one when I got the purple. So it's also a matte finish. It's quite a wearable berry shade. I think it's a really great formula. It's matte, but it still feels like there's a bit of hydration. It lasts really well throughout the day and you could pair it with a lip liner or a lip balm underneath, whatever else you'd like to wear to get the desired look. So I really like this one, I would definitely recommend it. This one is 293, this one is one of my favorites. It's quite similar to 426, but it's a lot deeper. They still have that berry tone to it. The one I just showed you is matte, this one is more of a cream, so there's a lot more hydration to it. It feels more like a lip balm. It's really nice and creamy, and I really like the opacity on this one. It does go opaque in one coat. The last one is pretty interesting. This one is 175. In the tube, it looks almost black. It's very, very deep applied. It's quite a bit more sheer. It's a creamy burgundy lip. This one's interesting, it's definitely not a matte formula, it almost feels like a lip balm on the lips, so there's a lot of hydration there, but it is quite a bit sheer and you do need to build it up to being more opaque, so you could either apply a lip liner underneath, which would also help it to be more opaque. As you can see from the swatches, they are really, really nice lipsticks, really pigmented, they have a great color range, and that's just from the five colors that I've tried. I definitely have my favorites, these three in the middle are definitely the most wearable shades. I like the matte formula, uh, sometimes it can feel a little dry if it's on too long, so you can either put a lip balm or even a lip liner, I feel like it gives you more of a full coverage feeling on the lips. I really like having the more creamy formula. Uh, for this dark one, so it's great to play around with the different textures and finishes. I think they last really well throughout the day. I do like that they're giving you quite a bit of product. Um, they retail for about $24 each, so pretty comparable to other high-end lip products and you can purchase them online through their website or in store. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think about their lipsticks down below if you've tried them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.